What is up guys, Ace of Masters here. Today we are doing a review on one of the LEGO Ninjago 2021 Epic Battle Sets. This one is Kai vs. Skulkin. The out number is 71730, comes with 61 pieces, and it will retail for $10 in the US. On the front of the box here, we've of course got the art of Kai, we got the Skulkin. It's actually this interesting kind of 3D thing. So in this middle area here, we actually have stats for the characters, which if you had any of the original spinner sets, it's actually pretty reminiscent of the uh, of the cards that came within them. And then on the back of the box, we just have all the functions in the set. Alright, so here is the set fully complete, but let's actually go ahead and take a look at these minifigures first. First off, let's take a look at Kai. Kai is the exclusive figure included in this set, and he's probably the main reason why most people are going to end up even buying this set. The most interesting thing about this figure has to be that brand new hairpiece. It's got the headband molded in it, and for $10, you know, it's nice to get a brand new hairpiece. It also will be included later on for the Season 14 sets, but those sets don't come out in March, so this is going to be the first way we're able to get it, and it's pretty cheap, so it's nice to see that. The actual printing here, nothing really too crazy here. We just got some lines and stuff, a little symbol in the corner. On the back, once again, another symbol. And then we do get an alternate face. It's the same alternate face we've been getting for the past few years, but, you know, it's still cool to get. The whiplash included here is the same one that we've gotten in previous sets, so it isn't anything that crazy, but it is still a pretty decent figure. Obviously, you know, it's kind of... It depends on how much you like this style for the skeleton. I personally am not huge on it, but I think it's fine for what it is. There are obviously no prints on the back, and then these got no alternate face. It's really just what you see is what you get here. However, I do want to say, I do like the inclusion of this sword piece, just because that's a very classic sword piece that they use all the way back in 2011 for these Skulkin Warriors. So it's nice to see them bringing that back here. Alright, so now the builds. So, these are pretty simple builds here. We've got two. Let's go ahead and look at this main sort of pagoda-like structure. It's pretty simple. This is another, once again, what you see, it's what you get. There's not really anything too much to it. It's just, you know, you turn around, you got a little flower build on the side, little tree branch coming off on the back. Nothing really there. And then, yeah, you also do have this section right here, which, you know, it looks like it's a shrine for something, but they don't have anything to actually put there. So I guess if you have like Sword of Fire, you could throw it in there and then they could be battling over the Sword of Fire. That's just an idea, but that doesn't come included with the set. Also this branch here, it is adjustable, so you can kind of move it around and you can change the angles on these leaves if you feel like it. Same thing with the flower in the corner here. It's just slightly adjustable. You can just turn this around. So you can get slightly different looks at it if you really want, but nothing crazy there. The other build included is a simple training dummy. You can just spin it around like this, and that is the whole thing. It's pretty simple, but it is effective. I do like it for what it is, and you know, it's just a nice thing to get included here. One thing they did bring back into the side was actually this spinjitsu handle. If you remember, they did this back in the original Legacy Wave, and really all you do here is you take your minifigure, obviously in this case we got Kai, and then you can just move it around and he spins around and you kind of run over people as if you're doing spinjitsu. Very simple build, but once again, I think it's very effective for play. And also, here are all the brand new weapon pieces they have for 2021. Obviously, this is the sword one, but you also have this larger kind of axe-like attachment. This one's also basically just another blade. And then my personal favorite of them, the shurikens, and it comes with four of them. I think this one looks the best personally out of all of them, but that's what you get. The color here is transparent orange, and you get different colors for different sets depending on which character you get. So at the end of the day here, the set is pretty simple, there's not a whole lot to it, but I think it's really solid. For $10, you get two minifigures, one being exclusive, which is really nice to see. You get all of these brand new weapon pieces. You get this thing, which actually adds a pretty decent amount of playability, and the two structures here, they're pretty basic, there's not a lot to them, but they are pretty solid for what they're supposed to be. And once again, it's $10, you can't ask that much for it, and I think what you get here is pretty darn good for that price point. But that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time, this is Ancient Masters saying goodbye.